Stags back. School phase MTG. So I'm still on the Luca train. I love Luca. Luca is like my favorite planeswalker right now. So I've been having fun brewing up all these different decks with Luca, and I got one that's really good today. This is one that you can play in competitive. Um, if you want to rank up with it, this is one you can rank up with because I beat just about every meta deck I think there is. All the top tier meta decks I beat with this deck. So this is a viable contender if you want to rank up with it. It's something different outside of the meta. You know, I love my non-meta decks, you know, playing in rank. So this is definitely one that you can play in rank and rank up with. Um... Everyone knows your opponent, it doesn't matter what they're playing. They can be playing Wyona, they can be playing Urion, they can be playing, you know, Aggro, whatever. It doesn't matter what they're playing if they don't have cards in their hand. So that's the basis of this deck. This deck is pretty much with like a black, red, control, uh, hand disruption type deck. Um, and it works really good with Luka. Um, so... Let's get into the deck and I'll explain it along the way how the deck works, how it operates. And I've got a sideboard done up for it because I did do some best of three matches. So um, I built out a nice sideboard for it. So if you're playing best of three, this will work there too. Um, so I got two Duress, uh, four Falmire Knight, uh, four Burglar Rat. <laughs> I know people still laugh when they see Burglar Rat in, in competitive decks now, but a hey, Burglar Rat, he, he puts in work. Uh, four Yorox Finn Lurker, uh, two Kroxa, four Murderous Rider, four Bone Crusher Giant, two Lures. Um, Lures catches them off guard because usually a Lures, um, he's usually the companion of any deck that he's in, but he's not the companion here, but he works really good in this deck. Uh, four Luka, uh, four Dracoset Maw the Flame, and then for the uh, land base, I got eight Swamp, seven Mountain, four Blood Crypt. Three Temple of Malice and four Fable Passage, so that gives us uh, I think it's I think it's twenty six lands. Yeah, the 20, 26 lands. So believe me, you need all twenty six of those lands because this deck gets to be it. It gets to be sometimes it feels like it's mana intensive, mana hungry because you want to play a lot of stuff um, in one turn. So um, you definitely need the twenty six lands. So I wouldn't recommend cutting any lands. Okay, but. So let's get into the synergies of the deck. So basically, we are a control hand disruption style deck. Um, we want to disrupt our opponent's hand and basically make send them into top deck mode, um, remove everything from their hand, all the removal, all their counters. So that way we can get Luca out and um, get uh, Dracoseph Maul the Flames out on the field when it's, when it's minus two. Um, our cap off as far as creatures is at three. So you want to get one of your three drops out, either a Murderous Rider or a Bone Crusher Giant or a Lures. Get one of those guys out, and then you can minus two on Luka, and it'll always fetch up a Draco set. Um, Luka's plus one is utilized very good in this deck because if you plus one him and you get your adventure guys into the, into the exile, you can cast the adventure while they're in exile from Luca. So it's kind of like you're getting the spell and you're getting creatures into exile off of Luca's plus one. Um, so that works out a lot. And I mean, it's plus one is always gas if your opponent, if they manage to draw more cards, then you just plus one and you get some more hand disruption guys in the exile that you can cast in and just take away their hand, take away their hand. Um, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You just disrupt your opponent's hand um, you control the board with Murderous Rider and Bone Crusher, um, and then basically you minus and get Dracul set into play, and then they have by that time they'll have nothing in their hand, so you don't really have to worry about them removing it, and you just wreck shop anything they have on the field. You end up destroying it. You start beating face, and they're just in top deck mode, and there's really nothing they can do. Um, the deck it it feels really smooth to to play, so. Um, especially if you get Lurus out, then it, it gets crazy when you get Lurus out because now you're recurring something from the grave and you're plusing on Luca, getting more stuff to cast and just taking away any cards they may have in their hand, dealing damage with Kroxa. Um, and there's, it puts your opponent in a spot where they really don't, have, there's not much they can do. Um, as far as the sideboard options for best of three, I got two more duress in case, um, your defense for going against things like cycling or um 
anything that you may need to because we don't have enchantment removal so um enchantments um you know fires anything like that your your defense against those styles of deck is going to be hand disruption so we got two duress into the sideboard we got uh, cage four cage because you definitely need that in any sideboard um in this current meta uh four cryo carnarium for going against loaded ground aggro deck cryo carnarium is very 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 good right now against um some of these obosh decks some of these mono black decks um mono red it it just it's a catch-all for a lot of those decks i mean you basically you end up wiping them out um with cry it's, it's surprising because cry is a is an older card and you don't really see too much of it in the meta but trust me it it catches a lot um plague crafter is another way to um we don't care about sacking our rats and our fin lurkers um so we can play this off of lucas plus one or you know from our hand sack our rat or our fin lurker or something and make our opponent sack something you know that they would rather keep um and then bid devil for um you know problematic stuff that we may need to remove um siding in these spells can make deck feel a little bit more wonky um than it is in its original build but I mean, you got to do what you got to do when you're going into sideboard. And so um, you just got to be mindful of what you're doing when you side sideboarding some of these cards. Because Lucas plus one can exile these things and then you have no way of getting them back. Versus the adventure guys, it doesn't matter because they're creatures. So they can go into exile and you can still cast their adventure and you can still cast their creature side. So um, that's why it feels so much more smoother um, when you play um, before you sideboard. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, the deck is really strong. I beat meta deck after meta deck with this. Um, I beat Urian Fires. I got that on, on the, in one of the matches on this. So um, yeah, let's get into the gameplay. I like this hand. Great hand. And I'm on the play. Excellent. I don't know what this guy's playing. Uh oh. Blue white control. Go ahead and get the fin lurker down. Can't counter it now, so make him get rid of a card. You can counter the rat. I'd, I'd rather have the fin lurker on the field. Holding up some counter magic. All right. Want to counter my rat? Please counter my rat. I love hand disruption so much. It, it okay, no count. But um, yeah, hand disruption it gets around counter magic so good because it's like even if they counter it, I'm still getting the the counter spell out your hand. So that's all I really want. <laughs> all right, what you gonna do? You play your fairy? Bounce something? You bounce my rat? Nothing. All right. Let's go ahead and play this. Want to counter it? Of course you do. That's fine. <laughs> I'd rather you not have that in your hand. Just chip damage in. Uh, hopefully I can draw into something here and draw some more gas. So draw his counters out of his hand. I don't want him countering my uh my Luca. That's fine. We, we ain't worried about Narset. Luca gets around Narset. <laughs> Card advantage route drawing. Well, go ahead and get Luca down since you tapped out there. Get me some more gas. Oh yeah. Alright, let me, let me go ahead and swing at Narset so he didn't get any more cards. Contain your rage. Alright, Luca's just gonna be straight up gas from here on out. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty uh pretty efficient here like this Vinny Diaz Vinny Diaz how you doing buddy what you playing Vinny mono red maybe <clears throat> oh, cycling! I've been waiting for this matchup. I've been I've been testing this deck quite a bit today, and I hadn't run into any cycling decks today. So this is the first one. So been waiting for this. 
I try to get a. Let me see. Uh, let me go ahead and just put it. Here. I want to hold up Bone Crusher in case he plays one of his uh his cycle pingers or the fox or something. But yeah, I, I try to get a wide variety, wide variety of uh, matches on film because you tend to meet a, a lot of the same decks um, in rank. So I, I try to spread it out and get a lot of different deck matches on, on film for my videos. Alright, where is he at? Uh, six in the graveyard. Alright. Um, I think we'll just go ahead and play Fiend Lurker now. Take something out of his hand. Oh. Shatter the sky, huh? That might mean he's playing the Fires of Invention version. I've seen the Fires of Invention version. Oh. Okay, yeah, it is the Fires version. Well, I'm going to duress him now, because that means he probably has Flare and that Dublin spell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get that out of here. Go ahead and play this. Get some power on board. Alright. What you got? Trying to, he's trying to draw into another flare. Shatter. <laughs> well, he didn't get his flare, so still in this. Uh, go ahead and pay this, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and get Luca down because. I gotta, I gotta try to keep him. If I can get through another turn of him not drawing uh, flare, then uh, I might be able to get enough hand disruption off Luca to just take his hand away completely. All right. Even if he draws a flare, he can't, he can't double it this turn now. So. All right. Still good. He can't. He can't double up his flare. Yeah. Probably should have kept that in your hand. Well, he probably doesn't even really realize that I'm, I'm playing a lot of hand disruption. So. Oh. I wouldn't, Defeat. I wouldn't expect that. Why, why wouldn't he just hold that in his hand? Well, I don't know. Maybe he does know I'm playing a lot of hand disruption, but me personally, I wouldn't have done that. All right, let's go ahead and make you discard something. Man, he really wants that that spell doubler in his hand. All right. Well, unless he draws another cycler, he can't uh, start drawing a bunch of cards. Alright, let me draw a card here. And I'm actually like trying in this matchup here. <laughs> I'm not not joking around because um, this is my first Fires matchup playing this deck, so I, I actually want to win this. Alright, go ahead and stuff this hand some more. Get Luca down. Finally got go ahead and plus one. Finally got him to discard that spell double. Wonder if that means uh I hope he didn't draw another one. Alright. He's got his cycle chain going here. Alright. Two moths. Alright. I think I just want to cast them all because I need to get damage on board. The, the longer this goes on, it's the more likely he is to draw into his combo and just end up killing me out of nowhere. So. Alright, swing two. 
Hopefully I can get through this turn. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> all right, that's good. Get all this gas here. I'll just go ahead and take away his whole hand. I say this one is this one is pretty much over now. <laughs> It's over, Vinny. You gave it a you gave it a good try, buddy. For all of you that hate cycling, this is how this is how you do it. <laughs> this is how you beat cycling. They can't cycle anything if they don't have anything to cycle. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep this. I'm on a roll today. This guy's playing Obosh. He's the chosen one. Playing a playing a different a lot of different decks today. Sometimes you just end up playing the same decks over and over and over again. Been seeing a lot of different ones today. Waiting on you, chosen one. Neo. The chosen one. It's Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Definitely gotta have the knight down. He's playing Obosh, so there's gonna be some little guys coming out. Aggro style. Go ahead and uh, pay the two life for this so I can have Stomp Up. I think this is my first Obosh matchup today. Oh, I played one earlier when I was yeah I'm not that wrong. played one earlier when I was first like trying to establish the deck list. I'm gonna kill this whiskey squad because it fetches up more of itself. Alright, uh I'm not gonna give up any more free damage, so play this tapped and just hold up stomp again. You got chosen one. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stomp that. Response. Die. You have your goat though. I like the goat. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the three. Make sure he's not he doesn't have uh all right i wanted to make sure he didn't have that first born steal my creature card before i play my giant claim the first born or whatever it is i don't play with that stupid card <laughs> It was very likely he could have had claim the first pawn. He he played a uh, wolf strider, so that's usually the combination: steal your guy and sack it with to wolf strider after they attack with it, as we all know. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh get Maw to play this this turn. Man, so many lands. Thin out some of these lands here. And uh, yeah, if I untap with Maul, Maul is going to pretty much be wrecking his life. 
all of his stuff is going to be dying. Oh, boss is not coming to help you, man. Oh, boss says you're the chosen one. You don't need any help. <laughs> chosen one? You are the chosen one. Black and red. Like Anakin, turn it to the dark side. You are the chosen one. Did you get a land? Wanna play Obosh? No? Okay. You wanna swing at me or Luca? All at me? Alright. Well, go ahead and block this because I'm assuming he's going to pump and I won't block anything with the mall. Uh, might have some... Oh, wait, he didn't have anything in his hand. <laughs> I was going to say he might have had combat tricks, but he didn't have anything in his hand. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Uh, another mall. didn't need you, but okay. Leave that on top. Plus one on Luca. Get, get the gas. Get the jet fuel. I only bond with the strongest around. All right, let me go ahead and swing and kill some stuff. Yeah, a four to you, and a three to you, and three to you, and a seven to you. Um, before no, I'm just go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna take your seven. Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get this giant down. Defend myself in case he gets Obosh out. Obosh? Is it time for Obosh? Oh. He can't save you. Scorpion can't save you. I'm not even gonna kill a scorpion. <laughs> I'm just gonna live. I'm just gonna take one from him. I don't care. There will be no life gain for you today. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Your skeleton can bite the dust, though. Man, Maul just love my hand. Um, well, he's dead, but... Well, let me just go ahead and be cheeky and get some damage in closer. <laughs> I'll uh, swing in and I'll deal four damage to your face and three damage to the goat. I'll send the goat with you. You can take him with you. Keep the company. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't really. I don't really care for this hand. Uh, no. Uh, if I had a third land, I, I'd feel better. But no. All right. Um, I think I want to put back maybe the rat. Mm, no, wait. Put back the the lurker because I'm not. He's not coming out turn two. Uh, don't need that. I wish you were tacos. Wish I was tacos. All right, I'll hold up this stomp. Playing some Simic Flash or something, or I don't know. That's Umari up there. All right, let's go ahead and stomp your face. Oh uh, yeah, and play my giant. I want some tacos now. I want some Cornisada, Cornisada tacos. What is this guy? What is he doing? Oh. Mutate. Well. We all know I love the mutate mechanic. Let's see what kind of deck he's got running with mutate over here. Um. Watch your old kid if he blocks this. I, I, I didn't think he would, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't want him stacking up mutations. I just want to pass. I want to draw a card. 
I can keep up the mana too in case I need to kill something. Alright. Um Yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna draw my card. Um no need to kill it right now. Alright, go ahead and fetch up a, another swamp here. Uh, I want tacos in the swamp. Taco party in the swamp land. Um, go ahead and disrupt his hand. And then I'll hold up mana for a murderous rider for when he tries to mutate. Now I can't let that mutate because then he'll get other permanents on the field. So, he's got a 6-6 six, six flyer, but that's a lot more manageable than him having a whole bunch of other permanents that he possibly could have hit. Alright. Uh play the rider and then uh let me make him discard his last card he's got. Uh, no, let me, let me do it with the rat, so that way I can play the knight. <clears throat> Alright, then I can use... I'm gonna eat six here. I'm pretty sure, but... I can use Luca next turn to get Maul in the play. Oh. This is Reef. Alright. Got some heavy hitters here. Some teamer teamer mutate with heavy hitters. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead and sack Ryder and get Maul. Alright. Your turn, man. What you got? Top deck of land? Oh, no. Oh, man. That's a one heck of a top deck. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm in trouble. Oh, okay. Not so much. You wanna attack? No attack? Okay. You can go ahead and plus on Luca. If I can't uh, I want to play the giant. Wait, no, hold on. Let me let me draw a card. I want to draw a card first. All right, no murder rider. Um, okay, let me swing in, and I'm gonna do four to his big guy, three to the reefs, and then I can shock the big guy and kill him. So, or stomp. I mean, all right. Yeah, three, three. All right, go ahead and stomp him. All right, in business. What you got? Going to top deck mode. Are the top deck gods going to answer you? What you got? Nope. <laughs> Urion. Okay. Oh, uh, this is a good hand to go against uh Urion. So definitely keep. Alright. The notorious Urion fires here. The Stax Rockman, Luca Brew versus the number one meta deck everybody's raving about. Alright. Well, we all know they always have fires, so let's go ahead and get that out of his hand now. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even you don't even have to guess that. I mean it's automatic. They always have fires in their hand. Alright. Uh let's 
Go ahead and uh, disrupt his hand some more. I'm not for seeing him playing anything that I'm gonna need to stomp, so no need to hold that up. Polo Chan Kantu! Polo Kantu! Such an exciting name. Um, uh, alright. Let me, uh. I don't wanna play Lures. I'm gonna play this, and hopefully that'll draw the Elspeth Conquers death out of his hand. I'm willing to exile my lures. Alright. I'm good with that Polo Kantu. Kantu. Uh, I don't want to do anything yet. I, I don't, I don't want to play the rat right now. I want to hold it up because I want him to play something and get down to like he's gonna save his, his you know his heavy hitters for last. So I don't want him really having a choice of what to discard. I want him to get down to his last bit of stuff. Um. All right. Well, I'm gonna just chill. See what he plays here. Nothing. Not gonna play nothing. All right. Well, since he ain't playing nothing, let me just go ahead and just start disrupting his game. Man. Mirror mate. Hmm. Don't think I've seen that one in the Yuri on Fire before. Hmm. Who would that be? Shadow? For a rat? <laughs> okay. Oh, here's here's another rat. Alright. The scar and the spark double. Alright. Man, hand disruption is so good against like everything. <laughs> He's playing his jury on some defense, so it's good. I'll go ahead and kill that. Kill it. Do it. Now the, the rat will smack you for one for killing his cousin. <laughs> Come on, man. You're playing the, the number one meta deck. The number one meta deck in, in standard right now. Oh, he wants his Urion back. Alright. Um. Well. I guess I'll go ahead and play this now and make him discard his last hand. So, last card, so he goes into top deck mode. We're gonna get his Urion back, but I'll just kill it again. Another, another mirror made. Alright. Beat down from the rat. Getting this rat beat down. Oh! Oh man! Top deck agent. Man, the top deck gods, they, they hate me today. I'll be getting top decked on all day. Oh, uh, alright. Well, everything is crazy expensive now. So, I think I just. Hold up uh, Murderous Rider for when he gets his Yurion back. And I'll kill the Agent of Treachery in response to the... Do I want to kill Agent now? No, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. No need, no need to be hasty. I'll kill it in response to the trigger. Kill it. Now I still have mana left over where I can stomp my lures um, and kill it so he doesn't play his uh, birth again up there. Alright, now he gets back his uh, lowly, lowly Urion. Ha 
Aha, your your Urion exiles nothing. Flip it. Oh. Oh, Teferi. Oh, my buddy, Teferi. He's on the other side. Man, why are your plans going against me today? You're late to the party, Teferi. You're always late. Alright, let's make him discard whatever he's got in his hand, so. Um Let me see here. I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the giant first. Um yeah. Then let's make him discard that. I was wondering if it was I don't know why I was thinking it it might have been a counter spell, but I forgot he's playing fire, so it wouldn't have been a counter spell. And uh yeah, go ahead and play the knight because why not? Got nothing. But Yuri on into fairy. Alright. Luca's coming out now. Time for Luca to come out. Oh, no swing. Alright. Well, guess he figures he's got an aerial clock, so why not? Let me go ahead and kill Teferi first. Sorry, Teferi. You, you gotta die. You gotta die, man. Can't have you help, helping out the enemy now. Now what? Alright. Let's go ahead and play Luka. Get Maw out. Maw is gonna Dissenters stare down your Yurion. Maw is like, Yurion is nothing! It's nothing! Another agent? Oh, just the land. <laughs> so there you have it. Another solid Luca deck. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you rank up with this deck, let me know. If you like this deck, comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to me, you actually should be because you're missing out. Two days, FNM's coming up. That means giveaways. You know, I love giving away stuff, so. I only give stuff away to my subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed, don't miss out. You need to subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment on this video, share it with your friends, share it with the world, share it with everybody. And as always, I appreciate everybody. See you guys next time.